Hello! Today we're going to be doing another beekeeping vlog. If you haven't seen our other beekeeping vlogs, I will link that playlist below. And if you haven't already followed my mom on Instagram, follow her. She posts a lot of really, really cool bee pictures that she takes out here in the apiary. And follow her at Side Yard Honey. So, we got choices we have to make. Population, as compared to some of the other hives we have, this has been going on five weeks since we caught the swarm. By seeing larvae and pupa, I assume that it was queen rate, which means that there's a queen in there laying eggs. But based on the population explosion of these two additional hives, there's been no more activity other than the bees that are in here now. So there's every indication to me that this does not have a queen. It has a, a worker bee that's laying drone eggs. So what I have to do is either buy a new queen or combine it with one of these other hives or steal a couple of frames of eggs from another hive bring them in there they can then make their own but highly unlikely that they'll build up enough to make it through the winter but that's all right so first you went in there and just like took a look around just well, to see I if you could see a queen i didn't see a queen so then that's when i decided to take off a frame take it inside so i can peer in there to see what the egg patterns were, if there were any eggs at all. Because the eggs were laid on the side of the cell, that's a laying worker because their abdomens aren't long enough to reach to the bottom of the cell as a queen's abdomen is substantially larger and then can touch the bottom of the cell. I've seen cells in there with more than one egg, which is another indication of laying worker. So if I don't do something, they're just going to die out because the workers, the working force is just going to perish over time. Drones don't go out there and forage, so all they're going to do is eat. It's a learning process. But now I know. I'll probably buy a queen. I'll steal some brood, add that to this so they can boost their numbers introduce the queen that'll be the wrap so it's been a few days since the last time that we came out here to the hive when we were checking to see if there was a queen and in that time my dad actually bought a queen bee online and had it delivered and today we're going to be introducing that queen to the hive If you can see, let you take a look. What's happening here, these are all drones. See the bullet shape? These are drones. And that's what happens when you have a laying worker. So, what my intention is, is to introduce some brood comb Now, what I'm doing now is spraying sugar water onto them. So when I add the other frames from the new hive, this is going to help mask the pheromone differences between the two hives. Now, here comes the tricky part, getting brood comb without getting the queen. They've been busy. I don't see her on this frame. drone comb here. You can tell by the bullet shapes. They're huge and actually one is trying to come out. Two of them right next to each other. They're yep. being born. Mm -hmm. Oh 
So are you just going to let them rest for a little while? Yes. The new queen I'm about to introduce, she's that big, beautiful, wonderful queen with the blue dot way down the bottom. Now what we're going to do is see how the rest of the hive reacts to her. Whether or not they want to kill her, destroy her, or anything like that. We're already checking her out. They already know that they don't have a queen. And she produces the pheromone very happy with what I'm saying right now. Now it's been an hour and a half I guess since um, we did that transfer from the other frames over to here. Um, everybody got to know each other, everybody now they're really curious about the pheromones that she's given off. They're all going nuts. There's a candy plug. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, it's a candy plug that introduces the queen slowly, but over time, I've seen it take less than a day that they would eat out that candy and release the queen so she can do her job. I should be asking questions like, where do you just get a queen bee from? Well, actually, I, I found this website. It was one of an advertisement, uh, the Rada, Iowa. They're a little north of us, so I was assuming that it would be more hardy as far as weather conditions in the wintertime. So there's people who just sell queens, like they yes. breed them? Yes, there's a, a major process, and it, it's a business, actually. They do it with different varieties or different species of bees. So this queen cost me $47. It was actually like $36, but $10 shipping. But I got it within two days. I'm gonna sit here and watch this all day long. <laughs> they are excited. Since I'm happy with the progress that they're not trying to kill her, smother her, or do anything, Know, harmful to her. I'm gonna close it up, let them take her time, chew out that candy, release her, then she'll be doing her job, laying the eggs. A lot of different ways to introduce it. This was just easier for me because I wanted to see how they reacted to the new queen. Thank you for watching this multi-day bee vlog. If you haven't seen any of our other bee videos, I will link the playlist for those down below. And if you haven't already followed my mom on Instagram, it's Side Yard Honey, that's linked down below as well. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of these other bee vlogs, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and like this channel on Facebook, those links are down below.